Well, at least summit to Kansas City without even getting on a highway. Jackson County is now one step closer to making that a reality with a commuter railway. Our Shannon Halligan joins us now live to explain what's being done to get people on board. Shannon, what'd you find? There's a lot of construction down here at the River Market for the streetcar, but if this plan works out, it will connect a separate train line from the eastern suburbs to right here. So we would obviously support that. David Johnson moved downtown years ago so he could get rid of his car, but he says not everyone can do that. Now, I mean, you try to rent a place downtown and it's you're on a waiting list. He now advocates for public transportation so everyone can have options. So when Jackson County County Executive Mike Sanders announced $10 million toward a commuter train line, he said it's a big step forward. There's a lot of congestion on I-70, uh, especially during the peak hours, uh, and I think going that direction uh, and the southeast as well uh, makes a lot of sense. The money will go towards purchasing rail lines, including the abandoned Rock Island Railway. It hasn't been used for more than 30 years, but is owned by Union Pacific. The line starts in Lee Summit, goes right past the Truman Sports Complex, and into Kansas City. The county still needs to raise $49 million, but Sanders says that's a bargain. I got to emphasize. The bridges are there, the rail is there, uh, there's one bridge that would need to be rebuilt. Uh, it would be uh, infinitely more expensive to, to acquire these rights away, time consuming, uh, in, in the multiple billions of dollars to, to put this together. The county expects to raise these additional funds by this time next year without raising taxes. Okay. However, that doesn't include the cost of construction or the additional line into Kansas City. Live at the River Market, Shannon Halligan, 41 Action News.